Go ahead and get a countdown going here. Okay, so before I start my run, I'm gonna reset them later just to show you the first good sign of the game. So, also, thank you everybody for your donations. To be honest, um, yesterday at the morning when I was when I had finished my runs of the day for this marathon, I have access to speedrun.com and I have saw on the donation goals for. This marathon app saw that no not many people has donated for this donation incentive and I was feel kind of upset for that because I never believed that for this marathon the donation goal were met and I was scared a bit because it was turn maybe in the first marathon I'm gonna run this game without the cut sense incentive uh, but then the staff DM me and they tell me hey the donation goal was met and I was like oh my god are you are you really, really tell me, telling me the truth and I, and instantly I had access to speedrun.com and I was surprised that it was true the donation incentive were met so well guys this is Pepsi Man any person plus cut sense and obviously I'm gonna be explaining everything on the game so well and also timing and timing is gonna start when I press the circle button and game start because well this is a Japanese game and in Japan they use the circle button instead of the cross button. But I'm everything everything else. I'm gonna put the countdown. So I'm gonna do just a little faster setup here before I can start. And well I'm just Closing some stuff here and moving just right there and okay, I think that we are ready to do this Pepsi memes run. So okay, okay, we are ready. Are we ready, guys? Are you ready, guys? Ch staff is ready. Everything is ready for this. Yep, staff is ready on the countdown. Okay, so let's make the countdown since five because this is a meme and you know. The height makes you start the countdown from 5 instead of 3, so, okay. I'm gonna start on yep. 5, 4, 3, three 2, two one, 1, go! go. Okay, this is Pepsi Man, any person plus cutscenes, and yes, let's start the game! Hey, let's start the game! So, I'm gonna keep quiet during all cutscenes, and then when the cutscenes finish, I'm gonna try to explain this so uh, now it's time to see some good English on oh, this man you got here just at the perfect time I got a call that a vending machine ahead ran out of Pepsi and I was just on my way there when I got a flat tire there are a bunch of people gathered in front of the vending machine they want Pepsi and the word is that they're just about to riot I plan to head over there as soon as I can fix this plan. But it looks like it's gonna take some time. Can't you do something, Pepsi Man? So, well, I'm gonna try to explain this faster, so... It looks like the only... The only vehicle of Pepsi in all... San and all city got a flat tire and a flat tire. And, well... It got an issue and now it's not able to feel the only bending machine in all the city. So now Pepsi Man's now gonna save the day feeling the machine. Because now the vehicle of Pepsi cannot move. 
to that and the machine and the people is gonna get thirsty because they don't they don't have their Pepsis. So well I'm gonna explain faster about uh, about some stuff in the game. Uh, Pepsi Man were released in 1999 as a Japanese exclusive title. This is a PlayStation game that were just exclusively released in. Okay, that wasn't my mistake. It was just released in Japan because uh, you know in Japan and um, all the companies like to have some weird mascots and all that stuff. So Pepsi Man was the mascot of. Well, Pepsi Man is the mascot of Pepsi in Japan. So also for to celebrate the new image from the Pepsi, uh, they oh god! <laughs> nice way to start emulator crashed, guys. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, this is the first time that this happened to me. Uh, I have never got any kind of issues, but well, game crashed, guys. <laughs> GG. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to fix this issue faster, so staff, if you can start the timer. I'm gonna be glad I'm gonna start this again, so let me try to fix this, guys. I mean, this is the first time that I got this crash on the game. It never happened to me before, so that was kinda curious for me. So I'm gonna open this, this again. <laughs> don't worry, guys, don't worry, guys. The good part is that at least the game crashed starting the game, so, well. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start this again. So well, now I'm why? Wait, wait a moment. Why am I? Why this is not detecting the game? Okay, what's happening with OBS? It's not detecting the game. It's not detecting the game. Okay, never mind. It looks like now. Okay, how pathetic. So, well, <laughs> that was a good way to start this, I guess. So, well, I'm gonna just skip this first kid then. But again, since this is any person plus cutscenes, even when I start the game, I'm not gonna skip the cutscenes, even if we have to watch them, so I don't think that there's any kind of problem with it, isn't it? Yeah, let me just... Uh, okay, so let's just, let's do the... Let's make again the countdown, so... Ah, uh, please, okay. start, uh, Steph, tell me when I'm ready. Yeah, give me one moment here. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay, I do see your stream back up correctly, so that's good. Let's get that reset. Okay. Yeah, this is the first time I have been playing this game since 2003, and I haven't got never any kind of this um, these issues no, with this game. So, it's well, all good. you know, that's everything that also is gonna happen. You know, this is something that you're aware that maybe will happen randomly when you play a game. So, well, and okay. So, this is the Pepsi Man anniversary right. today. Yep, ready for another Okay, countdown. this is more hype for Pepsi Man, so again I'm gonna make the countdown from 5, so get ready. And 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and go! And let's Are start you? the game. Hey, let's start the, the game. game! Okay, I don't know why, but for a moment I lose some audio. And I have forgot to start my own timer, but well, it doesn't matter. Oh, Pepsi Man, you got here just at the perfect time. I got a call that a vending machine ahead ran out of Pepsi, and I was just on my way there when I got a flat tire. There are a bunch of people gathered in front of the vending machine. They want Pepsi, and the word is that they're just about to riot. I plan to head over there as soon as I can fix this flat. But it looks like it's gonna take some time. Can't you do something, Pepsi Man? So, well, again, I think that maybe I'm gonna explain this again. So, as you have, he as you have heard, and the only worker of Pepsi got issues with their truck. So now it's not gonna be able to refill the only Pepsi, the only Pepsi pen machine in all the city. So now it's time for Pepsi Man to go and fill that machine because people's gonna get thirsty and mad because they don't have their own Pepsi. So as I was saying before, the game crashed randomly, 
Um, this game was released in 1999 as a Japanese exclusive title for the PlayStation. And the reason of this was because, well, you know that Japan has that weird culture about having mascots for all their franchises and all that stuff. So for Pepsi, they got Pepsi Man, and the mission of Pepsi Man was just, was just simply make the people don't get thirsty and get them a Pepsi. And also, in some way, to celebrate the new image from the Pepsi, and they decide to work with Kid and Determined to release this weird uh, running game. A kind of auto-scroller in some way. So, um, making it uh, to aside the kids and sport, um, the any percent category means that we need to beat the game as fast as possible, trying to don't get as many Pepsi can as we can. And in this case, I just have to catch three, so maybe on the next stage, is just for marathon purposes, I'm gonna try to get uh, more Pepsi can, more Pepsi can as I can, because. As you saw, when you finish a stage, there's a countdown about how, okay, that was fine. And there's a countdown about how many Pepsi cans do you catch in all the stage. And if you catch at least one, since the record is zero but by default, then there's gonna sound a jingle about the new record, and that's gonna make us lose time. So also, depending on how many Pepsi cans that we got, that we got, also how much time is gonna take the game to make the countdown of all the Pepsi cans that you have got and now it's time to enter to Pepsi Man Pro Skater so it's time to learn so Tony Hawk you're watching this you need to learn how to do these higher jumps yes because Pepsi Man is, like, is the best superhero the best Pepsi character from all the time and well uh, the game is divided on four stages, and each stage has three sands, so this is the first stage, sand 2. Uh, the first two stages are the regular stages, and then we have a kind of boss fight, or, well, you're gonna see that on a while, and you can judge by yourself about where you're watching here. And yes, now it's time that Pepsi Man just extends his hand and refills the Pepsi machines and also the people don't get thirsty about this and something it's just something curious because it looks like it's people that went out from Street Fighter 2 game and no what what happened now it's that the Pepsi truck but they throw away Pepsi man and well this is the first boss battle of the game so the logic here is that it's better to go on the street running and well a lot of people put all this stuff on the road to block it so instead of go to a side to a sidewalk and be safer it's better to try to skip all of this stuff that is all in the world. So this is uh, definitely this is uh, the, the most out scrolling part of the game. This is just like one minute and well now that's the first boss battle of the game and all the first stage were completed. And now it's time to move to the second stage of the game. And again, we are gonna have two wonderful cuts and two wonderful cuts and of the game. So again, I'm gonna keep quiet for a bit, or maybe not. I don't know <laughs> what's gonna happen. You're doing pretty good. Obviously, that I'm doing pretty good. Why are you thinking about me, dude? Have a Pepsi. And everybody loves Pepsi. Next stage. And now it's time to go to the next stage and have a Pepsi. And also, well, I'm gonna keep quiet again. I'm gonna say something about the voice casting and all the voice dub and all the stuff later. It's time to hear. Pepsi Man! There's a building on fire just ahead. We need to get there immediately, but look what's happened! According to reports I have heard, they got the fire under control, but there are some people that couldn't escape fast enough and are trapped on the roof. They are extremely exhausted, and it doesn't seem likely that we can get first aid to them in time. Can't you give them something to help revive them, Pepsi Man? So, well, again, we have some issues. The firefighters are not in a good condition for now. They are not available to save people who are on a building that it's being consumed by the fire, so again, Pepsi Man need to go there and make the people keep home. 
just give them some pets in order to don't get thirsty by all the heat that is on the way. So, also something that I need to say about the game is that I have watched comment here from the chat that, well, um, we're talking about the dude of the game. Well, since the game was, was um, obviously a Japanese really exclusive release, uh, something that I need to say about this game is that actually the voices were done in America. And also, that guy that you're watching between Kids and Seven when I finish on stage, it was also recorded in the United States. So, and also this game were, were in, in, on SGDQ 2015, if I remember correctly. It was run by the Boix, and he said that he contacted the actor that you're gonna see in all Kids Sense via Twitter, and he told him that the Japanese director told him that he need to act as poorly as he can and which is a good part that he got it and also with the voice acting everything were done on po so poorly on purpose and also the Japanese director of this game wanted that also the cute sense and the dialogues were on a kind of bad English much known as English which is the English version well, the Japanese English version that it's so um, very known in, or in some way thanks to the, all the misspelling that it has. And now, what happened? There were a vending machine open. Oh, well, uh, I got confused again. You know the hype. And now, uh, well, this happened. Now we are on the subway or something like that, I don't know how to say it. Yui, please enter a PC and tell me because, you know, I don't, don't know how to say some words in English, you know. This is kind of so the stuff that something happens <laughs> when somebody which is not English. Speaking English, well, it doesn't matter. So now this is the second part. It, this is like a kind of shortcut to get as fast as possible to that building that is on fire and Pepsi Man needs to save the day making that the people keep quiet until they wait that the fire fires come and save them and well the best part is that at last the fire is under control but since it's gonna took more time to fight fires to save the people Pepsi Man needs to go to give them some free Pepsi And also, as I was saying before, the game crashed, and and in some next stages, maybe I'm gonna be collecting some Pepsi cans in order to gain some extra life. Because for every 25 Pepsi cans you get, and you earn an extra life, and I'm just gonna do that for Marvel purposes, for saving purposes. Because maybe on next stages something bad will happen. And now Pepsi Man extends his hand again and gives to the people some Pepsi. And now people is happy and it's not thirsty because they got their Pepsi cans on their journal or subway journal. Okay, thank you, Gooby, for helping me on that part. And now this is the second boss battle and oh, what's that? Who will be be capable of survival with that kind with that kind of fallouts? And well, that that's a truck of a trailer of red pizza you have ever seen. So again we have this auto-scrolling stage and also something I say about this that I have forgot to say on the first boss battle. Insert up on this stage. Boss battle. And you are able to receive damage twice on the stage. I mean in this case you have so that I received some damage and that's something bad because it put, put me more close to the boss. Okay, so quiet. What's up, E? Damn, okay, we failed <laughs> the boss battle, but it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. As you saw, I'm just able to receive damage twice here, but the problem with that is that if you get damage, you get more closer to the saying boss of the stage and it turns a bit uh, hard to react about where you need to move in order to skip the traps and all the stuff that's on the road because you know it's better to keep running on the street and when, when everything's blocked and you see all this stuff here you know, the 
by just keep skipping. Well, that's the logic of this game. Instead of going to the side walls, keep skipping. Okay, second boss finished or defeated or I don't know how to explain this. So uh, if somebody find a good a good explanation for this, I'm so gonna be glad. So again, it's time to watch more wonderful good sense of this game. <laughs> And remember, guys. Pepsi for TV game. Pepsi for TV game. Now it's time to move to the third stage of the game. Pepsi Man. Pepsi Man. A plane full of passengers had to make an emergency landing in the desert. We were on our way there when the helicopter broke down. Fortunately, no one was hurt or killed but in the middle of nowhere, right in the middle of the desert. And they are all exhausted. Another helicopter is on the way, but it looks like it's going to take some time. Isn't there anything we can do to help them until that helicopter arrives? And now, the question is, is there something that Pepsi Man can do for that people in order to don't get exhausted? So, as you have here, here, an airplane has made an emergency landing and now people in the middle of now here Okay, that's it. They're in the middle of now now here I don't know how to say that correctly but well, now it's the work of Peptiman to go and keep make that, that people keep calm as well, you know they're in the middle of nowhere, they don't know what to do, maybe they're gonna get themselves. But at least the good part is that nobody dies. Nobody works in the as the game says. So again, maybe as you have been saw and the way of my okay, that's what I have to check point, so well, the way that you move in the game is that well, as I've said before, this is an idle stroller. Even if I don't press any button, that's I'm gonna keep running. And the way to go more, more faster in this case, uh, with the button combinations, that's the default one that I'm using right now. Every time that I press the square button, I can perform a slide. But if I press the up button and then I press the... Okay, okay. I forgot what I was thinking. Um, once I press the directional button up and I press the square button, I can make a dash. So what I was trying to there well and with that part and um, you need to watch carefully with the wood because some of them you can jump without problems and another some of them you need to make and slide but on that lower woods that it's supposed that you need to jump over there there's a frame perfect window that lets you to okay allows you to can perform. Okay, my controller got disconnect. No. Okay, doesn't matter. It's okay. And there's a little window that the game, the game allows you to can perform the the slide and don't receive any kind of damage. So in this case, I just catch. I try to catch 50 Pepsi cans in order to gain in order to exploit. Since unfortunately I have lost one here. So again, we watch Pepsi Man here taking a Pepsi can, uh, Pepsi can, but this is curious because it looks like Pepsi Man has the ability to give to the, some Pepsis to the people, but Kid's not able to give, give him a Pepsi to himself. So now it's time to move to the second scene of the game, second scene of this stage 3, and now for me here starts the problem. So. In this case, I'm gonna try to move uh, a little safely here, so now I'm in the middle of the desert trying to don't get hit by these bulls. So sometimes I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna be... doing the dash, and I'm just catching this uh, cans for... 
earn some extra lives because on the on the last uh, on the last normal ascent of the game, I'm gonna maybe I'm gonna need some extra lives since there's an only hard part. So for now, I'm gonna try to then get some hits again. And as you saw, there's a possibility that in some stages you can finish them without getting any pets again. There's another stages that it doesn't matter what do you do, you need to keep, you will catch at least one pets again. So again, I just need to go faster. The good part of this is that I remember when everything's gonna spawn, so I'm gonna, also I'm gonna be trying to keep playing a bit safely. Was it bad? Yes, I was aware that something like it was gonna happen. Uh, something bad about the game is that if you perform a, a dash after you it, it finishes, um, there's a window that the game doesn't allow you to keep performing the dash. So in order to don't get that part dropped, I'm gonna try to go on the normal Pepsi Man pace just to be aware that I'm not gonna fail, try to fail again, like I have done before here. Okay, that's what's good in some way. So, I just need to... Okay, I, ha I wasn't able to skip that, but it's fine. I'm gonna try to not save me here. Just for a second, poses, and then we are able to watch all the to watch here all the people who was on that airplane that land make an emergency landing. And there's an important point that I need to say here right now. If from this point, um you haven't find found any kind of logic and well you're not gonna find it now on this third boss fight and well for some reason I don't know why but I'm aware that this is something that can't happen in real life so again in this case fortunately I don't have any kind of stuff on them road that can make that I get damaged but I just need to be careful with those woods because well, some of them is gonna roll on the floor, other of them is gonna be thrown on the air. Okay, that was close to be a good failure. That was the last part of stage. And now it's time to move to the last stage of the game. And with this, all my runs of this murder is gonna are gonna finish. So again, it's time to you know watch this marvelous cutscenes on the game. And now this is something good because it looks like the Japanese developers thought that. Players will like to see a fat dude all the time while they play the game. Something curious also about this game is that Pepsi for pizza. Remember, guys, Pepsi for for pizza. Midwest Speedfest Pro. I'm not gonna explain this, kids, and you just need to hear them and you will understand everything. Pepsi man. It looks like the main computer of Pepsi City went out of control a little while ago from being overloaded. All the roads are affected by the computer and we can't move ahead. There isn't enough Pepsi for everyone and violence has flared up amongst those wanting Pepsi. Exhausted people are collapsing because they can't refresh themselves with Pepsi. If it continues like this, there will be a worldwide shortage of Pepsi and we'll have a real problem. Can't you do something to put the computer back in working order? 
So you have heard guys, it's a lie that some Asian people are trying to cause a third world war. The third world war is gonna happen when no one, nobody can get some Pepsi. So now it's time to show some Pepsi man abilities. And now it's time to show you guys to the Pepsi man, master, to the Mac master Pepsi hacker. Again, let's just keep moving in old Pepsi City. And well, uh, as I was saying before, uh, something curious about this game is that obviously in Japan, the game were so popular, and most people say that this game were so boring as you can imagine. Uh, but well, at last, from somebody that is from Latin America. Um, and the piracy with the video games were so common and it was weird to find somebody who has a PlayStation without a mod chip. And thanks to the piracy, this game were so very well known in all Latin America and to today this is still being a culture game in Latin American gaming community thanks to, thanks to that. So you have so guys, sometimes some games and they are just released exclusively in just one part of the world it's gonna be popular on the rest of the world so, well, this is the first descent finished and now it's, got, it's time to move to the uh, next stage of the game so I hope that at last all these cans that I have got and, and all the, these lives that I have got Thanks to them, help me a bit because the last part of the next sand it's the most hardest of the game, and I have forgot to get some two extra Pepsi cans. So if everything goes fine, I shouldn't uh, cap any can. Problem with this. So well, it's now time to be. Directly on this. Pepsi Man Factory? Or how should I consider this? So if you were wondering how the Pepsi factories were inside, now Japan allows to us to know how does they are thanks to this notable media game. Also, something I forgot to say is that also I can get hit twice in a row. The third kid is gonna think that I lose a life. But, uh, but every time that I catch 10 Pepsi cans, uh, as you can saw that I have to some damage, um, the hell of Pepsi man got killed or something like that. Well, the point is that every 10 Pepsi cans, the Pepsi man health goes up. Obviously, he received some damage. Like, for example, in this case, if I gain another 9 Pepsi cans, then it's gonna go up. So now I'm gonna keep quiet because, from all the games, this is the only hardest part. Because you need to be so precise with your movements. And there we go, the only hard part of the game, beat it without any kind of big issues. So now it's time to bo to move to the last um, um, boss fight, but well, now we have saw that Petsman again just extended his hand, saved the game and restored the principal computer of this Pepsi factory. Okay, I don't know why that happened there. So now it's time to go to the last boss fight. So again, that big Pepsi can falls by no reason. And we have this kind of retrospective with the first boss. Oh, wait a moment, what is that? There are some little Pepsi cans also? 
and why they don't get smashed by that big Pepsi can. So well again we have this auto score by one minute and six seconds if I remember correctly. So um, staff be ready for stopping the timer. The time's gonna stop on um, this Hello. Yep. Okay. Uh, time's gonna stop on the screen enters again on the white screen mode. Obviously when I lose the control of Pepsi Man, so I'm ready because maybe in six seconds time's gonna finish, so ready for the time. Okay, that's my good thing. And time. That was Pepsi Man, any percent plus cutscenes, but the show doesn't finish here because there's a, a last cutscene that we are gonna watch right now. You got it! Yeah! Yeah! Woo! <laughs> yeah, I have got it. We everybody got it, guys. Pepsi. All Pepsi. right. <laughs> and everybody, Pepsi, drink Pepsi, guys. So. Pepsi. Only my choice. And yes, for this marathon, Pepsi, man, Pepsi, it's only our choice. So now it's time to wait just one extra minute because we need to wait that until they create all the credits for all to watch the very, very last cutscene of the game, and everything will finish. And your time was 27 minutes 14 seconds, by the way. Mm, 27, 14, nice. That's cool because my estimate now were 35 minutes, but when I have to make this, my estimate was 40 minutes now. So now, for, now this means that now my estimate can be turned down to 30 minutes, so I'm glad for this. And it looks like that's not something healthy. Pepsi is... Uh... Because imagine what will happen if you drink a lot of Pepsi cans. Excuse me. As you have saw on the screen. So remember, Pepsi is good, but don't drink a lot. And well, this was Pepsi Man. Any person was get sense. Again, to the staff, thank you for having me here. Also, thanks to all the people who donated for the marathon and make that the good sense incentive were met. I really appreciate this a lot, guys. Remember, remember, guys. There's a Spider Run and then a Nino Kuni Run, and with that, the marathon is gonna finish. So keep tuning, guys, because another.